I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give All right. me a sign I'm getting excited I get to finally pick up my boat I'm driving there right now, I'm almost there Diamond Sports Marine New Skeeter 21 FXR I'm almost there I love getting to see my boat for the first time uh, you know you do the colors you don't know what it's gonna look like so I'm, I'm that's my that's my biggest excitement it's just to see what it actually looks like, like I said I get mine at Diamond Sports Marine which is right by Lake Fork so right now I'm driving over the bridge there's Lake Fork Fred up here at Diamond Sports Marine that's where I get all my boats man Fred is freaking it's uh, just face he's freaking best dealer there is he's awesome awesome most knowledgeable easy to work with uh, shoot you straight I always specifically choose Fred like that's who I want to go with no matter what I've always said that your dealer is your like your lifeline to that boat and and he is he is mine man so I still like looking at Lake Fort I don't fish it enough but yeah so it's right up here let's uh let's see this bad boy man I'm excited but it's not it's not gonna be finished though all the way um, that's what's gonna be exciting is we've got some I'm doing something different this year and it's all gonna be shared with you two uh, I'm not there's I'm putting some stuff on this boat that y'all are gonna be used to but I'm gonna have a whole series on it it might be the most informative helpful thing you from my channel when it comes to Let's just face it, electronics, all kinds of stuff. It, I, I promise you, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the deal. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thought I'd pass it up for a second. All right. Ooh, that that is it. That thing is. Ooh. Oh, we gotta take a look at this thing. That thing's sharper than I thought. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I wanted this seat boom deck. Seats came out, God, it came out exactly like I wanted it to. I mean, exactly. Every once in a while, I'm like, man, how can I get a boat prettier than my last one? I think I did it. Look at that. Nothing's up here. That's what I'm saying, guys. This, when I say it's complete, it's done and we're gonna start on this next week we got some things to do to it I mean I mean it is whew. God's clean seats came out awesome oh that's a different steering wheel the new Yamaha Got the power, man. Everything's nice. And I have my batteries in there. I got, like I said, I only got that one battery for right now. TS Green locker bar. Carpet's freaking smooth. I'm just sitting out here. This video's not gonna have anything on it. It's just me looking at my boat. So I went different. I went, I was worried about this. I, I've never really had any, any blue on my boat before. And I kind of took some uh, pages off uh, another buddy of mine, Blake, he's got a Skeeter and he had these blue pinstripes. 
And I was like, man, I want that. But I'll have to go back and check out what, what this kind of blue is. And most of the time I get like a black metal flake. And I was like, what if we just went matte, like just a plain black finish on this stripe? Because I wanted it really dark. And I'm so glad I didn't put metal flake there because it makes that blue metal flake like shine now. Like that, that lighter blue and then, yes. Like I was worried about it. I went up there with Joanne at Skeeter and I sat down with her forever and we talked about it and we went over it and I was so scared that it was gonna, I didn't know what to think about this, but I'm so glad I'm so glad I did that. And, and so that way the inside of this is all metal flake. Got that, just a straight black on it. Here and down the side, the stripe. And then you can see right there on the console, it has it. Back here, it it's just enough. That's by far the cleanest one I've ever had. Okay, let's let's go in. Let's go in and talk to Fred. Now I'm coming in here. Wanted to see what Fred's got in Diamond Sports, right? I want to see what they got. They got who knows what they got in here. Let's see. Always like oh, where do we, where do we want to start? Let's start here. The FXR20. That thing, look at that. All ready to go. Like I said, these are all 23s too. Got the C-Deck in there. So this is basically, basically my boat, right? Except it's a 20 footer. Let's see what they had this. They got the Hummingbird, Garmin, right? Got the live scope on here. We'll get into all that later, but that's, I mean, it, it's basically, it's basically my boat, 20 footer. I got Raptors on this thing. It's a clean boat. Those, man, for me personally, like if I'm gonna get a white boat, I want a white, like I want it solid white like that. That's pretty cool. This, this one I believe is it's going to be an FXR21. This is their 75th anniversary boat. Like, I think this is the actual, the setup of it all. I mean, it's black and gold. I mean, it's, man, those rims are sweet looking. That's pretty cool. I mean, they trimmed that up, like the gold pinstripes everywhere. Got two hummingbirds on this. 360. I mean, the big TV screen. What is that? I wonder if that's a Solix. No, it's a Helix 15. That's nice. Like I said, I love the new, I like the steering wheel part of it. And we'll go, when we get to the house, We'll go through the whole thing, okay? We'll go through all this. We'll go. He's got, he's got a stereo in his, but we'll we'll open it up, show everything. And this is their ZX two hundred. This is this is just like I said. They offer different styles. You know, this one has a different different console, has a different middle. A lot of different things about this boat. We could we could go into all the different things i guess maybe one day if if, if y'all really like this i can come back here with fred and we can go over all this stuff dax fred whoever whoever y'all want we can come back here and do all that go over all the features of all this stuff but i just wanted to show y'all what was in here uh the boats he had like i said this look got some coasters i mean he's if you need an Ultrex, you might want to come to him for an Ultrex. Look how many he's got back there. Yeah, he's got it going on. So let's go fill my boat up with some gas, put some oil in it, start it up.
All right, there it is. Hooked up, ready to go. I got home kind of late. I had to go do some stuff, so I wasn't able to show y'all when I got home. So this is the next day. I got it home and I hadn't even got inside it yet. The cool thing, this is what I want to show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all all the insides and everything else. Um, this is what I was worried about. It was this, was this black, I'm real picky when it comes to, to the way my boat looks. And I, I've never had blue. Like I said, I wanted something. And if you look, I mean, this thing is dark, right? I was worried about putting this, this flat black with, with metal flake. Um, man, it turned out exactly, it turned out better than I thought, to be honest with you. It really did. So that's pretty cool. So I got to get my locker bar. I got my TH Marine locker bar on there. And, and we'll talk about these grabs here in a second. All right, so you notice, no trolling motor. We got a mount, no grass. Don't have any grass back here. It's basically the only thing I, I don't have yet, right? I'm, I, we'll get into that. Even in the back, the only really thing I have right now is one cranking battery. Don't even have my charger in there. I'm going to that's what I'm going to get into. Okay. Is what I'm going to do with that. Let me move this tray. All right. So I, I have my batteries. That's where I'm going to put my power pole charge, right? Y'all know about my power pole charge. I love that thing. Uh, I guess got a brand new one. I'm putting that in. I'm going to have another battery over there and I have my 336 lithiums right here. Okay. So I am going to do that again. I love that setup. If y'all want to know why, I'll go into a whole reason why I have 336s. Everyone doesn't understand why. There's a reason, and every time I tell people the reason, they all agree with me. They're like, yeah, good point. Like, I make a really good point because I'm just telling you. They can tell you what something is. I tell you the reality, right? Just like this motor. I never had a problem with my Yamaha, right? My, my old Yamaha, um, the one I'm selling, only thing I ever did was change the oil. I didn't have to do anything to it. Now, does that mean this thing won't mess up? It could. Could something on this boat mess up? It could. Can those batteries mess up? They could. I've had one mess up. Now, they're, they've been better than all the rest of them I've ever had, but they still can mess up. And that's the deal. If it messes up, then what do you, like, what's your predicament? Like, what are you, what are you left with? But that's why I have 336s. So, Let's get in here, like I said. I already got a pine needle in here. That's all right. The seats, the seats sometimes, they, they are brighter. I don't notice it until I get in the boat, but I do like them because they stand out. Like I, I like my seats sometimes to stand out. I don't like seats that blend in. Um, it's one of the only things you can really do. So I haven't even opened this up, let's see. Oh, look at that. I got my net back. Net's good. I don't really use their net. I use other nets. It is not snapping turtle proof. If you, any of y'all don't know, if y'all have never watched my snapping turtle video when I freaking capture this 200 year old prehistoric uh, salmon turtle, yeah, it bit right through my net. So it's good until you use it on a 200 year old turtle. All right, well, that's good. I actually needed some more boxes. I haven't really gotten any more Bass Mafia boxes, so I'm hoping I do. Okay, I was about to say, where are my seats at? I forgot about all this stuff. There are my seats. Cause I, there's that, oh, a ladder. Oh, I don't even have my power pole switches. There they are. Like I said, I had not even opened any of this yet. They have rod holders. If y'all know me, I, I, I have all this all tackled. So that'll all be my tackle. This is usually all my tackle right there. That's usually where I keep everything, like my wallet and stuff like that. Maybe I can show you all the lights. Those seats, those seats will go in my garage because I'll never use them. God, this deck's so big. Okay, so here's the deal with this. I haven't sat down in it yet. It feels just like the old one. I do like this on this boat, this. This is new. It's new, 
Maybe my old one had it. I don't know. But whatever it is, God, that's not, that's got to be new. I like this. I like this right here. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. I like that part of it. I did not, did not know that was like that. All right, got my, got my hot foot in there. That, oh, this is the same good. There's my power pole right where I want it. New gauges. Those are cool. Let's talk about this. My graphs. I'm switching up everything this year. I'm going straight Garmin. This is a big deal, guys. Straight all Garmin's, even the trolling motor. I wanted everything to be the same. It's easier when everything's the same. Um, and I've had a pretty good relationship with Garmin over the years, even though I've never used them. They, they were traveling around to, to events, helping out. And so I just got to know them. I liked my live scope that I had. We're, we're going to, we're going to try everything out. Even though this is a video about my boat, I think anyone that's watching this needs, needs to hear me out what I'm about to do. I'm going to do a whole series on garments from beginning to end. Like, I will have videos of ins installing them. We're gonna show you how to install them all from everything, from, from the transducers to the graphs to everything. On top of that, then I'm gonna go over you from start to finish on how, how to use them. Now here's the cool part. I know some of the guys who are gonna install them at Jones Troll Motor, right? I know them all. They're gonna, they're gonna work with me and we're gonna present this whole series on them because even though I know a lot about Garmin's and certain things, I'm having to kind of relearn everything with maps. Because even though I use live scope and some things, this is going to be a whole tutorial from the like from the begin minute I turn them on. I'm going to have videos on them. I mean, so so if you're worried about go switching to Garmin, right? Th this is going to give you maybe like from start to finish like what well, how do you use the map how do you use the sonar how do you set things up there's going to be so many things i promise you that you're not utilizing your your electronics for and so what better way as i learn too because there's going to be some things i don't know um i've got guys that i can contact go over it with them so so many of the questions that i have I'm gonna put them on there. I have no problem putting that on there. I'm not gonna act like I know it all, right? So it's a learning, it's gonna be a learning video for all of us, right? So hopefully even throughout that, as you're watching maybe episode one of that series, you might have questions. And the more questions you ask, the more I'll be able to do videos on that. I'm super excited to do this with Garmin. I think it's the best way ever because so many times these videos are, 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 are missing the steps. Right, missing the beginning steps of really, if you got them and you didn't know anything about Garmin, I'm like, what do you do? Like, how do you really set it up, right? Not for the advanced, right? We're gonna have advanced stuff on there, but from the beginner to the intermediate to the advanced, whatever it is, and the installation, I mean, I'm going, I'm going in two days to get all this installed, okay? So that's all gonna be on there. So, hey, get ready for right. that. Let me look. Coolers in there, right? This is usually what my trash can. I love, God, I, I'm more excited about this than anything on the boat is the sea deck. I really am. Live wells, yep. Maybe I'll actually put some fish in them this year. I did a little bit last year. Oh, what's in there? Hey, what's this? Look at TH Marine coming through. G Force. Oh man, cable organizer. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm gonna have to open up all this later. Calling system. Come on. TH hooking it up. Everything looks. I like them seats. Them seats match. This is what I love. Those seats right here, they match this, they match that. They they have I like it when when all that when all that matches. See and out here, the seats, when you look at it, the seats aren't crazy, like they have just enough color in them. You want that color, you want that color to stick out because it kind of matches this, kind of matches this, matches 
the Skeeter. Like you, you need things to all match, right? Those seats, like even this inside rim. I look at all that stuff. The lights, right? All those match the seats. Man, slick. Be looking for those series on install, installing the Garmin. It's not gonna be like once or twice, right? We're gonna do them like over the whole year. It's gonna be a progression of learning what your Garmin's can do. Like it's, it's, I don't think there's anything like it. I think this is gonna be the only thing on YouTube like it. So get ready for this, all right? Stay tuned for that, be looking for that. Anyways, Skeeter FXR 21. That's the prettiest boat I've ever had, it's right there. See y'all guys.